Hey y'all, welcome back and thank y'all for joining me for another Winning Wednesday. So this week I wanted to talk to you all about baited thoughts. And so I want you to consider where your ideas come from. The things that you think about doing or want to do, they all start in the mind. They start with your thoughts, the things that you think about. So I want you to think about this though. Where are those thoughts coming from? Who's giving you those thoughts? What are those thoughts truly about? What is the motivation behind those thoughts? So I want you to be aware this week of your thoughts because the enemy is trying to come after your thoughts. He wants to be in control of the narrative of your thoughts. He wants to manipulate you with the thoughts that are coming in your head. That's how he keeps us trapped in certain cycles and in certain situations because he's works on our thoughts. He brings in one thought. And once you entertain that one thought, then he's open. you've opened up a door from him to come in and continue running more and more of those same thoughts. Have you ever sat and thought about how sometimes when you think of one thought comes in your mind, how it just multiplies and compounds one on the next and it seems like your mind is just racing off of this one thought that started? That is the enemy. That's how he works. He wants to try to control your thoughts and where they're headed to push you in a direction that the Lord never wanted you to go on. So you have to do what Paul has all asked us to do in Philippians chapter four in verse number eight. It says, and now dear brothers and sisters, one final thing, fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and praiseworthy. Those are the things that the Lord will have you to think about. So each and every time those negative thoughts come, I want you to analyze them. Ask yourself, who is this thought coming from? What is the motivation behind this thought? What is this thought trying to get me to do? Where is this thought supposed to go? Is it supposed to stop right here? Am I supposed to acknowledge this thought? Is it a true thought? Is it an honorable thought? Is it the right thought? Is it an excellent thought? Is it a pure thought? What is going to happen if I allow myself to stay in this thought? Is it going to distract me from the purpose that God has, from the vision that he has, from the thing that he has me doing? Because a lot of times the enemy brings those thoughts in our minds to distract us from the things that the Lord would have us to do. He wants to keep us away from doing those things. And it starts with putting thoughts in our mind. Have you ever thought about sometimes you're just like, where did that thought come from? Now I'm asking you to analyze that thought by this measurement stick in Philippians four and eight, because if it's something that's pure, that's right, that's praiseworthy, why don't you meditate on that? That's when we get into that mode of worship and, and praising and honoring God and start walking in the things that he would have us to do. Cause the thoughts that he give, those are the things that are admirable. They're right. They're praiseworthy. They're the things that we have joy about. Those are things that inspire us and motivate us to do the right things. But if it's one of those thoughts that are coming from the enemy, those are the things that stagnate us. Those are the things that stop us and grab our focus from doing what is right. It's the total opposite of what Paul is asking us to think about in chapter number four, verse number eight. So this week, beware of those thoughts. Don't allow the enemy to control the narrative of where you're going and control the narrative of your thoughts, but measure it by what Paul is saying. That is the Winning Wednesday word. Thank y'all for joining me and I'll see y'all in the next one.